Welcome to Toggle.io. In this video, I will cover how to use a tabs temperature and humidity sensor as the endpoint for a temperature display dashboard. More information about tabs devices can be found at broen.com. Start by adding a Broen tabs temperature and humidity sensor device under LoRaWAN TTN. Name the device and enter the device EUI. Go to Devices and generate an authorization. Copy the authorization code. Go to the Things Network and click on Applications. Add a new application. I'm using a Centrius RG168 as my gateway and it has already been configured. Go to Settings. Remove the existing EUI and add the device's application EUI. Next, you will need to navigate to Devices, add the device ID, EUI, and application key. Once you have done that, you will be able to see the status of your device. If you go to Data, you will be able to see the recent payloads that have been sent from it. Now that we know the device is transmitting data properly to the TTN, we can go to Integrations and click on Togo, give it a process ID, select default as the access key, and paste in the authorization we generated earlier. Once the integration is running, go back to Togo.io. To check that Togo.io is fully integrated with TTN and the Tabs device, turn on the Live Inspector and wait for a new payload to be sent. Once you have confirmed that Togo is receiving the data properly, go to Dashboards and add a new dashboard. Add a card widget and select the temperature sensor as your device and temperature as a variable. You can also add visualization to your widget based on the temperature. I'm going to add the condition that if the temperature falls below 26 degrees Celsius, the widget will turn light blue and if it rises above 26 degrees, it will turn red. I will also add the mini chart feature so that I can see the change of temperature over time in my widget. The widget is now complete and any change in temperature sent from the device will now be displayed. For more information about integrating Togo.io with TTN, you can visit our website and access the documentation. Thank you for watching.